Hello, everyone. Welcome to TSAM Digital. My name is Anna, and today I have the pleasure of speaking with Stephen Colley. He is the head of sales engineering at Finborn Technology. Welcome, Steve. Hey, good afternoon, Anna. Nice to be here. Thank you for being here. Um, so, Steve, before we get started today, uh, could you tell us a few words about what Finborn does? Yeah, so uh, Finborn Technology was founded uh, in 2016 with the mission of uh, reducing the cost of investing and increasing transparency for everyone. We exist because our experience in the industry showed that the incumbent solution providers haven't solved the inherent problems of trust and timeliness. We're not looking to disrupt the industry, instead to challenge the status quo, remove obstacles and provide an efficient upgrade path for the whole investment community, not just a, a particular segment. So today we wanted to talk about technology innovation and uh, to kick things off, with an abundance of cloud providers and a renewed focus on digital transformation, how should asset managers respond to and adopt technology innovation? So the key thing really here is that innovation isn't a luxury anymore. Increased regulation, broken manual processes that people are undergoing, the fact that you need to integrate lots of new data sets into your environment very quickly, and people struggling to trust the data that they have in their system mean we need innovation now more than ever. As I say, we live in a world of, of big data, disparate data sets, people struggling to interpret their data, to integrate new data formats, to translate between these different formats. And asset managers really need to be able to own and control the data to be able to minimize cost and, and reduce risk. There's been a lot of hype around data warehousing, but really that's not that's not the answer. It doesn't have, you know, data warehouse doesn't have an innate understanding of the data and it can't handle the complex calculations that you need in investment management. Equally, front to back systems have proved to be a distraction. They, they can only deliver value after complex migrations, multi-year migrations, and typically they're built on legacy architectures. Really, the, the perfect use case for innovation is a, a SaaS-based modern financial data stack that can form the, the data fabric for your organization. It's API first to overcome those problems of, of diminished trust and lack of timely data. But really, that's only the, the starting point. You also need a control framework that sits on top of that system to make sure that you've, you've got that control of the data. And you need a, a system with an innate knowledge model about the data to make sure that you can truly understand that. As I say, the bottom line around innovation really is that uh, a SaaS-based modern financial data stack can deliver the value and the meaning from your data that's that's currently missing. So it's really interesting. And I wanted to ask you, why does innovation matter? Um, alpha might be one reason, of course, but what other business critical benefits does innovation deliver? Hey, so innovation is, is really, it's critical for the operation of the business, for, for efficient operation of the business. It, it, transparency is king. The uh, new uh, you know, investors want to see data in real time. The, as we see more millennials coming into the marketplace, they're used to having data at the touch of a button. Equally, new ESG regulations such as SFDR require increased gran granularity and speed. You need nimble systems to deliver that in the right way. In the hedge fund space, we're seeing that the new SEC proposals are causing concern around yeah, amongst hedge funds as to how they're going to produce data for regulators on a T plus one timeframe while they're firefighting the volatile situation that, that they're in. So really, this the innovation is the only solution to, to allow these asset managers to be able to uh, experiment, to be able to try new systems without inertia of the complex integrations that I talked about. It allows them to move on from these single vendor dependencies, this, this single front to back system, to uh, being able to build uh, an infrastructure, a, a data platform from a network of uh, financial technology providers. And looking forward, what technology innovation do you think will have the most impact in helping the industry to seek alpha in a competitive market? So as vendors, we need to de-risk operational change. The, the biggest barrier to operational change is inertia. And in the past, the only way to go was, was big bang. But we believe there's another way that we believe that, that SaaS technologies can 
provide that value and prove that value far sooner. Uh, a SaaS-based modern financial data stack, if you like, forms it can form a, a bridge between your existing systems, your existing technology architecture, and future innovations, and allow iterative change that's, as I say, is sympathetic to your current system landscape. It, what's more, firms can start small with specific use cases in mission critical functions. They can solve uh, specific problems, the low hanging fruit that really is, is interrupting their business. Examples of increased uh, reconciliation capability, increased flexibility of client reporting or increased calculation of uh, risk numbers. And ultimately, this can resolve the core challenges of, of multiple copies of the data, duplicate integration costs, and really allow you to win back operating margins. Thank you so much, Steve. It was really, really great having you us, uh, with us today. Um, we look forward to seeing you again soon, and uh, I'm sure our community is very grateful for your time. That's great. Well, good to be here, Anna. Thank you very much. Thank you.